one day they will have taken everything away from us. Unless you're a good, obedient citizen, unless you bend the knee and do as you're told, you will be an outcast in the modern world. And there will be nothing for you there. Sometimes I think that there will come a day when this is all that I will have left. A campfire by the river, a shelter. And I'm saying that because I am now seeing how society is changing rapidly. And it worries me. Many things are happening as we speak that are limiting our freedom. And it seems like there is no way to stop this. It seems like it's almost wanted. People are lost in their smartphones, in their TV shows. They're dumbed down entertained, passive. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't mean to be negative. We'll talk about this a little bit. I'm boiling up some water here um, and um, I'll have some coffee. For this video I made only one note and it says create a life that they cannot take away from you. And uh, that's my big project, <laughs> to do that. And I think we all should. If you care about freedom, autonomy, that's what you need to do. Now, let me explain. I believe that we are moving towards a kind of society where you will not have freedom, not in the sense that we understand freedom now. You will not have freedom of expression, you will not have freedom of movement, you will not have all these other freedoms that people in my generation, we grew up with this. Those freedoms will not be there anymore. And I've said before, you will not have freedom of speech because, well, <laughs> we're already there. You can't question certain narratives on social media. Or at the workplace, in many cases. Freedom of movement, well, they're going to take away our cars sooner or later. That's what it looks, what it looks like. Uh, and I'm not even going to get into the right to defend yourself thing. And I believe that because of everything becoming digital, digital ID, digital money, digital, <laughs> digital everything, it's going to be very difficult to function in the so-called modern society if you're not approved approved as a good obedient citizen of the modern society and I can tell you I am NOT going to be part of that and if that means that they will take everything away so be it I think I will be perfectly happy with what's left. I mean, <laughs> nature is here and I do believe that in most countries we will still have the freedom to roam. Now, 
how do we create a life that they can't take away from us? Well, we do that by becoming independent of the system, detaching from modern society. Before I continue with this video, let me just tell you guys one thing, which I think you will find interesting. Every time I make a video about something that we're not supposed to question, like I did when I talked about the insane plan to cut down trees and bury them in the, in the ground. One of Bill Gates' many ventures. Um, the traffic goes down to my channel. It just plummets. Why is that? And I will ask you if you kindly could consider subscribing to my channel because that seems to help that seems to get the traffic up again and uh, yeah so if you if you're not already a subscriber please consider helping out this channel by subscribing and watching this video thank you so basically you need to get the stuff that you need from outside of the system that means growing your own food maybe keeping some chicken, maybe connecting with other like-minded people so that you can secure the access to calories. <laughs> and I know it's not that simple and I can tell you, I will admit right away now that my vegetable garden this year was a disaster. I failed miserably. Um, but next year it will be better. Um, money, if they start rolling out, which they have and which they will continue to do, rolling out the uh, central bank digital currency, I mean, it's complete and total control of your every movement, your every transaction. I will not be part of that. And I think we can't let that happen. It's so important that we do not accept a system like that. And also invest your time, your effort and possibly money into things that can't be taken away from you, like skills, like knowledge, study, build friendships with good people, become a reader, Become a survivalist. Become a bushcrafter. Do all these things that build you up as a person. You might need it. It might come in very handy in the future. I guess there's a lot more that could be said about this. And, uh, and I don't know, I'm just some guy <laughs> out there by the campfire. And, uh, you know, it's... I, I find the modern world confusing and complicated and stupid at the same time. I don't like it so much. I like it out here. <laughs> Even though there are there loves flies here. And I think I got one in my hair. <laughs> but that's just how it is. Now some of us have already cast the dice, so to speak. And um, I believe that, uh, you know, for instance, in my case, um, if I'm suddenly gone, from social media platforms. Well, you will know why. Um, and I, I should have said more often that actually, you know, there's a, there's a reason why I have this thing here on my hat, my website address, because you can go to the website address there and um, subscribe to my blog and I will post all my videos there on my blog so that you will get a notification from my website.
from my blog when I upload new videos. But it's very difficult to to get people to do that for some reason. But I, I do believe that what we're seeing now, for instance, with, with Russell Brand, is that he was becoming a little bit too influential. He was asking too many questions. And now he has been silenced, basically, and uh, that's it. You know, and I, I haven't looked into the details. I really can't tell if he's guilty or not. But I do know that certain powerful people pulled the plug there because he was becoming too problematic. That's what I think. And he's just one of many, one of many people who have a large following. And when people like that start asking questions concerning certain narratives, eventually they get removed. And by the way, sadly, I think it will not help at all to change to another platform. Because what's coming now is a complete... Um, well, if you look, look to the UK, now this is legal matters, but basically they are making all social media platforms responsible for the content. And you can't opt out of that, as far as I understand. And this is coming to every country in the so-called civilized world. But I have my website. <laughs> I can host that from some obscure place, by the way. <laughs> but anyway, that's what I wanted to say today. And uh, I appreciate you guys. You mean a lot to me. And uh, as always, stay strong.